Next limited invited applications for 10,000 equity shares of 10 is for public subscription. The last line of the question is give necessary journal entries to record these transactions in the books of X Limited. Now carry on the question. Working notes in the books of X Limited. Working notes. Note 1 distribution of amount and number of instruments. Application rupee 1, allotment rupees 2, first call rupees 3, second and final call rupees 4, total is rupees 10. This is A part, allotment 200 cross, first call 200 cross, second and final call 200 cross. For B, B paid application and allotment 3 rupees and hence B could not pay first second call. In front of first call and second and final call, write down plus 100 cross plus 100 cross for B. And C failed to pay second and final call on 50 shares. Hence, in front of this second and final call plus 50 cross, total is 10 rupees per share. Number of shares issued and subscribed 10,000. Number of shares forfeited 400. Number of shares reissued 400. Fair notes, journal entries of X Limited, first entry, bank account debited to share application account, the receipt entry of application money, 10,000 shares at the rate of rupee 1, being share application money received on 10,000 applications at the rate of rupee 1 per application, that is 10,000 into 1, 10,000 in the debit, 10,000 in the credit. Then next one is share application account debited to share capital account that is 10,000 in the debit, 10,000 on credit for due entry. We issued 10,000 shares and it was subscribed by 10,000 shares hence being share application money due on 10,000 shares at the rate of rupee 1 per share full subscription. Next entry is allotment due, then allotment received. Bank account, eh, sorry, share allotment account debited to share capital account. Being share allotment money due on 10,000 shares at the rate of rupees 2 per share. That is 10,000 into 2, 20,000 is the due entry for allotment. Then the received entry. Bank account debited to share allotment account. Here, Read the question A part. A who held 200 shares. One part. Part 1 of 60. One question. A who held 200 shares failed to pay the money on allotment and calls. Failed to pay allotment. Bank account debited to share allotment account. Being share allotment money received on 9800 shares at the rate of rupees 2 per share. 200 shares held by A failed to pay allotment. That is 9,800 9, into 2, 19,600. Next one being, the bank to share allotment, next one being, share first call account debited to share capital account. Being share first call money due on 10,000 shares at the rate of rupees 3 per share. That is 10,000 into 3, 30,000. Bank account debited to share capital account. Next one being the receipt of a fast call money. Mr. A failed to pay fast call on 200 shares. Read second part. B to whom 150 shares were allotted fail to pay the money on first call and final call. Bank account debited to share first call account. Being share first call money received on 9650 shares at the rate of rupees 3 per share. See the design working notes. 
200 shares of Mr. A, 150 shares of Mr. B, that amounted to 350. 10,000 shares minus 350, that is 9,650 shares at the rate of rupees 3 per share, that is equal to 28,950. Bank account debited to share of first call account. Next one is due entry of second call. Due is always made for all shares if not forfeited beforehand. That is share second and final call account debited to share capital account. Being share second and final call money due on 10,000 shares at the rate of rupees 4 per share. 10,000 into 4, 40,000 rupees on debit and credit. Then bank account debited to share second and final call account. Being share second and final call money received on 9600 shares at the rate of rupees 4 per share, the amount being 38,400 in both debit and credit sides. See why it is 9600. Mr. A's 200 shares, Mr. B's 150 shares, Mr. C's 50 shares, that all amounted to 400 shares. Failed to pay second and final call, that is. Four, that is 10,000 minus 400, 9,600 shares at the rate of rupees 4 per share. Next one being share capital account debited 400 into 10, 4,000. Two share forfeited account, this will be 100, 200 of A into 2 into 1, 200 into 1, 200 and 150 into 3 for Mr. B. That is 200 for A and 150 into 3, that is 450. Then Mr. C, 300 into 6, that is 50 into 6, 300, that is 400 plus 300 plus 200 plus 50, that is 950. Mr. S rupees 200, 100 into 2, 100 into 1, sorry. Mr. A hold 100 shares, uh, sorry, 200 shares. Mr. S 200 into 1, that is 200 rupees. Mr. B's 150 shares into 3, 450 rupees. 200 plus 450, that is 650. Plus, Mr. C's 50 into 6, 50 shares into 6 rupees, that is 300, 650 plus 300, 950, to share allotment account for Mr. A only, 200 into, that is 200 into rupees 2 per share, 400, to share first call account, that is 350 share into rupees 3 per share, 1050, 2 share second and final call by mistake written only second call, second and final call that is 400 at the rate of rupees 4 that is 1600 rupees. Being 400 shares of 10 called up forfeited for non-payment of share allotment and calls money. The next one being bank account debited, share forfeited account debited to share capital account. Being 400 shares reissued at 9.5 per share fully paid up. 10 rupees 5 percent discount. 10 rupees into 5 percent discount that is 50 pais. 50 paise on 400 shares that amounted to 200 debit. Bank account debited 3800. Forfeited shares account debited 200. To share capital account 4000. Being 400 shares reissued at rupees 9.50 per share fully paid up. Next one being forfeited shares account debited to capital reserve account. Being profit on forfeiture and reissue of shares transferred to capital reserve account. That is 950 was forfeited 
from A, B, C, the shareholders of 400 shares. On to them, 5% discount of 4000. This discount are times confused by the students. This discount is nothing, this is discount on reissue. That is 400 into 5%, that is 200. 950 minus 200, that is 750. That is share forfeited account, forfeited shares account debited to capital reserve account. That is profit on forfeiture and reuse of shares transferred to capital reserve account. The journals are usually totaled at the end. That is amounting to 2,6700 both debit side and credit, both debit column and credit column. And this is the final answer.